What's going on my people? Tony from HowToBuyAndSellYourCars.com Thanks for watching my quick video. Just wanted to make this quick video for you today to walk you through the entire car buying and selling process. Okay, a lot of people kind of get this confused or they're like, what do we do first and what's the step-by-step -step process? I'm going to go ahead and tell you what the step-by-step -step process is. And if you want to learn more about it in, in, in real detailed information and breakdown and over videos and training, check out howtobuyandsellyourcars.com. All right, I'm giving away more free information there. Check that out. But the first thing you want to do is keep your eyes open for opportunity. All right, start telling people, listen, I'm looking for a used car. If you know anybody that has a good deal, let me know. All right. Uh, the other thing is keep your eyes open on the streets. Sometimes you'll see for sale signs on cars, for sale in driveways. Sometimes you'll notice a car sitting in a driveway for a long time. Maybe on your nor normal route to work, you see this car that's always sitting there. Uh, and maybe it needs a light mechanical fix and you could sell it for profit. All right, keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open on local penny savers. All right, don't forget about the newspapers. There's still a lot of people posting cars for sale in local papers. They don't really, they're not internet savvy. Some old people, uh, retired people, they're not looking, you know, they're not, they don't know how to post a Craigslist ad, basically, and they're posting it on the newspaper. So check the newspapers out. You can score a lot of deals in the newspapers still. Uh, and also check out your online classifieds, Craigslist, Kijiji, Gumtree, if you're in Australia. All right, check those sites out. Scour those sites daily. Learn what the market is has to offer you. Learn what cars are going for. The more you learn and you see what cars are going for, like maybe a 2005 Civic, you know the price range. 1999 Toyota trucks, 1999 to 2005 Toyota trucks, they're in this price range. Once you start to get the idea of a price range, as soon as you see one that's lower than the average, you know it's a deal automatically. So you have to condition your mind uh, to be with these numbers every single day all right so it's important to have a blue book as well i like to keep a physical blue book on me you know it's good to have the app but it's also i think it's even better to have the physical blue book in your hand so you can scour through pages you could take it on the road with you you know leave it at home put it next to your computer your desk and it's a lot quicker to scour and compare deals by than going in the app and pushing all the buttons this and that and then you know it's it's just easier for me and I think uh, it's it'll be easier for you as well all right so once you know the numbers you'll be able to pick a deal out super super quickly after that once you get the car back to your house you need to spruce it up all right now when I got when I first started buying and selling cars um man 15 years ago right uh, I used to invest in a lot in, in cars that I liked a lot you know not what the masses wanted so be sure not to get too emotional about, about a specific car that you like and buy it just because you like it, okay? You want to get it because it's a good deal and because you know you could flip it for profit, all right? And the other tip is uh, you don't have to get cars that need a lot of work. Some people think and feel that, man, I have to buy a car that needs a lot of work. This way I can fix it up myself, put a lot of elbow grease in it, and then sell it for profit. Well, you could actually get cars that don't need too much work and still make a great profit. And that's where, that's where the paradigm shift I had uh, a while back where I said, listen, I don't have to buy these cars that need all this work. I can just get a car that needs maybe like a light detail or just something minor to it that I could tweak. Of course, you may have to pay a little bit more for these cars, but you do less, less time, right? You spend less time on it. You do less, spend less time, and you make the same amount of investment back or more, okay? But remember, on the flip side to that coin, it's also very important to be able to spruce up and fix things uh, on cars that need to be fixed. This way you can sell it for profit, all right? So it's either auto body and paint stuff, uh, mechanical stuff, uh, just basic overall dressing up and detailing, you know, buffing and cleaning the carpets inside, taking the seats out if you have to, to power wash them down, all of that. And uh, I actually do everything, right? I do everything around the clock in autom automotive stuff. So it helps to know the knowledge, but you don't have to know the knowledge because there's tons of people out there buying cars at auctions from private party who, who get cars at a good enough deal to where they could pay somebody to have those things done and still make a profit, okay? So once you do that, 
you do your mechanical fixes or your auto body fixes or your light detail to it, you get it ready, spruced up for paint, not, not spruced up for paint, but you get it ready, spruced up to sell. Then the next step is to advertise. Okay. And a lot of people go wrong here with advertising because they don't know how to get ads that convert, get ads that people will call, you know, hungry to get hungry buyers calling you to want to buy your car. All right. So that's the next step is to post your ad and how to post your ad, what times to post your ad to get the most amount of views and people calling you. And then the final stage is selling, you know, how to sell the car without actually selling, you know, how to get the car to sell itself. And uh, they say the first impression is the last impression. So having a good looking detailed up car is really important, but you don't want to overdo it to where people get suspicious. Like why, you know, why is the engine so glossy? You know, I don't like putting on the gloss on the engine. Some people do. I don't do it. I just like to have a clean engine, but I cover so much more tips about this that it'll make your, your mind boggle. So go to how to buy and sell your cars.com right now. Learn how to buy and sell cars for profit. I'm sure if you apply some of the strategies that I cover, uh, you know, you could make a few thousand dollars extra per month to put to your retirement, your college funds, pay off bills, pay off credit cards. Um, and it's not hard to do. So again, it's Tony. I've been helping people learn how to do this for a long time now. I've been doing it for an even longer time now. And uh, I hope you got something out of it. Please like the video, share the video, subscribe if this is your first time watching my videos. And uh, be sure to check out the website, download that report that I have for you, and get in contact with me. I'm here on, on YouTube. I'm here in my emails. I'm a real dude um, that, you know, I want to give back. I want people to learn how to do this on their own. There's just so much opportunity out there. Uh, people ask me all the time, why do you want to share your secrets, Tony, when you could be making all this money? Well, I can't do it all. You know, I can't. I can't buy and sell every single car out there. I can't get all the deals, you know, so I might as well help people that want to be helped and want to get to the next level so they could do this and provide for their family just like I do. It's Tony. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.